In this lecture, we're going to discuss Lorentz velocity transformations, also known as relativistic velocity addition reaction. So, let's begin by looking at the following diagram. Let's suppose we have two inertial reference frames. So, we have a reference frame given by F that consists of an axis x, y, and z. And we also have a reference frame given by f prime that consists of axis x prime, y prime, and z prime. Let's suppose that inertial reference frame f is stationary while inertial reference frame f prime is moving with the velocity v to the right along the x-axis with respect to frame f that is stationary. Now, now, within frame F prime, we have a particle given by point P that is moving with the velocity U prime along the X axis with respect to our frame F prime. So this frame contains a particle that is moving with the known velocity U prime along the X axis and this entire frame itself is moving with the velocity V with respect to our stationary frame F. So we want to ask and answer the following important uh, question. What is the velocity of the particle with respect to inertial reference frame F that is assumed to be stationary? So we basically want to derive the equation known as the Lorentz velocity transformation equation that will allow us to transform the velocity of our object within the moving frame to the velocity within the stationary reference frame. So to gain some more intuition about what is actually taking place, let's come up with a real example. Let's suppose that reference frame F that is stationary is assumed to be the Earth which is assumed to be a stationary reference frame. Now, reference frame F prime is a spaceship that is moving away from Earth with a velocity V with respect to our x-axis. And let's suppose that spaceship releases some type of object, let's suppose a missile. And the velocity of that missile with respect to the spaceship is given by U prime and it points along the x-axis. So we want to come up with an equation that will allow us to transform the velocity of that missile with respect to the spaceship to the velocity of the missile with respect to the stationary Earth. That's exactly what we want to do. So let's begin by recalling the following two important equations. These equations were derived in our discussion on Lorentz transformations. So recall that x is equal to alpha multiplied by x prime plus v multiplied by t prime. So basically, if we know what the velocity of this frame is and we know our position x prime, then we can use this equation and transform this position x prime within this frame to position x within our stationary frame. And the same thing goes with equation two. If we know the time which the time at which this event takes place if we know t prime we can use this equation to transform it to the time within this stationary reference frame now alpha is given by the following equation usually in physics we use gamma to represent this quantity but in my lectures i use alpha so these two equations will become important in just a moment. So our goal is to find the velocity of the particle in reference frame F that is stationary. So we basically would like an expression for U which is the velocity of the particle in the stationary frame F. So if u prime along the x-axis is the velocity of the missile, the particle in f prime, then ux is the velocity of our missile or our particle with respect to f. 
Now, what exactly is the definition of velocity? Well, instantaneous velocity is equal to the derivative of our displacement with respect to time. So that means u in the x-axis is equal to dx divided by dt, so the derivative of x with respect to t. Now, notice an interesting thing about x. So x is a function of what? Well, x is a function of t prime, and t prime itself is a function of t. So that means when we take this derivative, we have to apply the chain rule. Now, by the chain rule, ux in the x direction is equal to dx dt prime multiplied by dt prime dt. So once again, x is a function of t prime, and t prime is a function of t. So that means we have to apply the chain rule and this is what the chain rule tells us to do. Now another way that we can represent this is in the following way. So basically we take this and we bring it to the bottom. So dx dt prime divided by dt dt prime. So this is the following. We're basically taking x and we're taking the derivative of x with respect to t prime. And here we're taking time and we're taking the derivative of time with respect to t prime. So let's begin with the top. So what exactly is our x? Well, if we go to equation 1, x is equal to the following result. So, x is replaced with, well, this is simply a constant. Alpha is a constant. We can bring that outside our derivative. So we have alpha multiplied by the derivative of x prime plus vt prime with respect to dt prime. And likewise, if we go to the bottom, we can take our t and replace the t with this entire equation. And once again, alpha is a constant. We can bring that outside our integral as shown. So we have d of t prime plus vx prime divided by c squared with respect to t prime. So let's actually evaluate these derivatives. So this, so we have dx prime with respect to dt plus well, the derivative of this with respect to t prime is simply v. And we divide this. Well, notice that these alphas appear on top and bottom, so we can cancel them out, and that's exactly why they don't appear in this equation. Now, the bottom is the following. We have dt with respect to t is simply 1, and this quantity is v divided by c squared multiplied by dx prime divided by dt prime. Now, what exactly is dx prime with respect to t prime? And what is dx prime with respect to t prime? So these two quantities are the same. Now, these quantities are simply the velocity of our missile, of our particle, with respect to f prime. And these quantities we are given an initially. So that means we know what these quantities are. And we get u prime x plus v divided by 1 plus v multiplied by u prime x divided by c squared. Where once again v is the velocity of the spaceship, it's the velocity of frame f prime, it's something we're given, and u prime x is the velocity of the missile of our particle, which is also what we're given, and c is the speed of light within a vacuum. So basically, this gives us the velocity of our particle in frame f with respect to the stationary earth knowing what the velocity of the particle is with respect to f prime and knowing what the velocity of the frame is our spaceship. Now this equation once again is known as Lorentz velocity transformation or relativistic velocity addition equation.